I know. I know you love me tonight, but will you respect me in the morning? <laughs> hey, how how about this? How about this weather where we're we're having out here in California, isn't it wild? <laughs> the sewers of Rangoon back up into your breakfast. <laughs> this is Richard. How I love to be President Nixon. I want to tell you you know, my fellow Americans, I just got back from Hollywood where I was working on a new motion picture. It's called Planet of the Tapes. <laughs> I know that, that, that you know that, that I know that, that, that you know. And if you knew that I knew that, then, then, then we both would know if, if we knew. What is he talking about? Don, I'm a nice guy. Ah, uh, King Fasal of Saudi Arabia. So, 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 so glad you could come. Hope you find a parking place for your camel. Anyway, then, may I say something, Your Highness? And I say this from the bottom of my heart. You gotta be the ugliest king I've ever seen in my life. Yeah. If your face was a building, it'd be condemned. Nazi <laughs> time. Oh, I, I love you. You, 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 you. You're a wonderful little guy. You, you, you little taggy. You. <laughs> I know you got a lot on your mind, but try and remember next time. No starch on the collar, huh? <laughs> Fidel Castro. What are you doing here tonight, you hockey puck? <laughs> What'd you do? Get a note from the Russians saying you to take the night off? <laughs> Incidentally, is that a beard or are you sticking your head under your armpit? <laughs> Now, I've done a lot of politicians over the years. I've done people like, like Bill Clinton, who wrote me a lot of great material. <laughs> and George W. Bush. I don't know why the American people are picking on me. <laughs> I haven't done anything. My name is Bert Lancaster. I'd like to tell you a few things about my good friend, Kurt Douglas. Kurt and I made five motion pictures together. As far as I'm concerned, there were five too many. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's go back to the beginning. Kirk was born in Amsterdam, New York. At school at the age of six, his screen image was already beginning to take shape. When asked to read before the class, Kirk said, See Dick run. See Jane run. See Dick and Jane and Spot and Puff run. See Dick run after Puff. See Dick catch up to Puff. See Puff scratch Dick. Dick grab puff. <laughs> See D 
shit start twisting, God. And twisting, twisting. Now she took Smash Puff way in the face. And she did run out for me. Before I start speaking tonight, I... I would like to say something. I am delighted to be here. But then at my age, hell, I'm delighted to be anywhere. I have to be honest, I haven't played golf in years. As a matter of fact, the last time I played was with Arnie and Lee, Benedict Arnold and General Lee. And uh, I regretted that. My God, those, those wooden balls were murder. No, I, I stand corrected. I did play nine holes of golf last spring with Tip O'Neill. And, um, well, I regretted that game, too. As a matter of fact, at one point, I hit the ball up on the green, about 50 feet from the cup. And when I was bent over, trying to make the putt, I made the mistake of saying, my God, if I get this in, I'll die. With that, Tip O'Neill picked up the ball and said, Mr. President, that's a gimme. Now, Andy Rooney of 60 Minutes touches all generations, the past, the present, and hopefully the future. And he's always asking questions. A little annoying at times, but always asking questions. Here's a few things that bother me. <laughs> Why do they sterilize needles for lethal injections? <laughs> Why did kamikaze pilots wear helmets? I don't understand that at all. Here's something else. If an asp in the grass is a snake, then why is a grasp in the ass a goose? I don't get that at all. Now, now, the way I understand it, Dr. Kane said that Miss Marple said that the knife that was found in the back of Sir Reginald was the same knife that was used in the kitchen by the maid Winnie Annie that originally belonged to the gardener Ben Harper who used to just scrape putty off the cellar window. Now, 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 somebody's lying here. <laughs> and I suddenly realized, that's how to do Johnny Carson. Think of an ostrich. Quiet, please. A home run and a triple. A first baseman's glove, a catcher's glove, and Dolly Parton. Let's talk about a real issue at hand Trash piling up, it's time to take the stand From plastic bottles to styrofoam cups Our planet's is drowning, it's time to wake up Garbage trucks roll, streets lined with waste But where does it go? It's not a race To the landfill and mountain of despair But we can change course, show that we care Trash talk, it's more than just words It's about actions, the change we deserve Reduce, reuse, recycle That's the plan for a cleaner, greener earth Let's take a stand Trash talk, it's more than just words It's about actions, the change we deserve Reduce, reuse, recycle That's the plan for a cleaner, greener earth Let's take a stand Single-use plastics, they gotta go From straws to bags, it's time to say no Bring your own cup, your own tote bag Small steps add up, let's not lag Sorting all waste, it's not that tough Recycling centers, that's where it's rough Separate paper, glass and cans Give them a new life, that's the plan 
trash talk, it's more than just words. It's about actions, the change we deserve. Reduce, reuse, recycle. That's the plan for a cleaner, greener earth. Let's take a stand. But it's not just about the stuff we toss It's about the mindset, there's no loss Composting food waste, it's a win Turning scraps to soil, let's begin Educate the masses, from young to old The future's at stake, let the story unfold For the sake of our planet, our home sweet home Let's clean up our act, together we roam Trash talk, it's more than just words It's about actions, the change we deserve Reduce, reuse, recycle That's the plan for a cleaner, greener earth Let's take a stand Name two big hits, two big mets